Well, we are on the uh, alert tonight as we give you that first alert to a severe thunderstorm working its way through northern Beltrami County right over the Red Lakes area right now and likely producing hail upwards of two inches in diameter and uh, some of the uh, hailstones may indeed be larger than that. Storms moving southeast at about 35 miles per hour and the warning is in effect till the end of this broadcast. And as we take a look, this storm has some mid-level rotation in it. When you see the greens next to the reds there, that's where the rotation is as it moves in on on that Highway 1 area right now. Again, moving south and east. We'll take this one away from the Bemidji area. We're going to take a slice out of the storm in three dimensions. And the higher the updraft can loft the hailstones where we pick up these higher reflectivities here, the greater the chance of some of those large, large stones making their way down to the ground. It's pulsing up and down in intensity. And I'm going to pull this back just a little bit here if I can, uh, just to take a closer look at that uh, line that we're drawing through the storm. Here it is. Let me see. Let's pull it down. Yeah, you can see the hail core reaching way, way up there over 30,000 feet. Uh, so this is this is a pretty uh, healthy storm. Nonetheless, a lot of lightning, locally heavy rain moving south and east. We'll take it close to Black Duck here in the next few minutes and should stay just north and east of you in Bemidji. Now we're tracking off to the west, as mentioned, our storm tracker, Eric Whitehill, Summer Schnellbach, keeping our eyes on the skies because there's a chance for some development here as well. Not all of us are going to see storms tonight. In fact, most of us will just stay hot and dry. It's in the 90s here in Fargo. It feels warmer than that. It's closer to 100 on the feels like scale, thanks to dew points close to 70 degrees. Dew points close to 70 and heat like this means there's a lot of fuel in the atmosphere tonight for thunderstorms to form. Look at the temperature in Jamestown. It's one of the reasons why we're watching that area so very closely. You've reached that convective temperature where we could see at any time storms really blossom. Now, as we continue to track these storms here, there is a possibility for some out to the far west, and that's why we have that slight risk. Slight risk means a few of us will see storms. If they do form, though, all modes of severe weather will be possible. Hail greater than two inches. We could also have damaging straight line winds and an isolated tornado tonight because of the spin in the atmosphere. Our model shows that things really get firing as we go through the dinner hour in our western counties. James and Cheyenne River Valleys here as we'll keep our eyes on the skies. Now, this may or may not happen this way. It does that sometimes uh, in the summer hours, but our model does project these storms to move south and east through southeast north. North Dakota be very close to the FM area here as we go through the mid evening hours by 9 to 10 o'clock. They're pushing south and east out. The risk of severe weather continues into those hours as well. And as we head into the 10 o'clock time frame, the storm should be exiting on their way out as we go through. We can get some new information here. Okay, so we do have an active tornado warning in Beltrami County now for that rotating storm. So we're going to uh, continue our coverage here. A tornado warning has been issued for the storm out there. Tonight, the storms after midnight exit will have temperatures that will generally be climbing tomorrow into the 90s for another hot summer like day. And in Fargo, this is what it looks like. Uh, hey, do we know if that's confirmed or not? Well, we'll get back to that in one moment. For, for now, we're going to go back to the radar here real quickly. So we have that tornado warning in effect for this storm right here. Here is where it's at. Now I can can track it from the uh, the storm here. It's the rotation. Here's the tornado warning. It is right over Highway 1. It is an observed tornado. So we do have an observed tornado on the ground. Uh, they're reporting that it's going to be moving towards the, the Hag Hagley area, also Red Bee and Black Duck as it works its way to the south and to the east uh, right now. So let's take a look at that rotation on the storm. Uh, this is mainly, uh, good news is it's very near the lakes area, so right on the south shore of the lake is where we have that rotation showing up. Moving east-southeast, let's take a look at the movement of that couplet. Do you have more Radar on that? Radar uh, uh, law enforcement confirmed near Red Lake itself. Okay. On on the ground there. Okay, so that, that, that green uh, display that you're seeing here is motion towards the radar. That motion towards the radar being measured in Mayville, a long ways away. So we're even seeing the rotation way up high in the atmosphere. We have the spin right here. Uh, law enforcement reporting that on the ground in and near Red Lake itself, near Highway 1. It's moving off to the east at 35 miles per hour. So we're going to track this, tell you where it'll be, and we'll get you right back to your news. Uh, if you are in Black Duck, if you are in Black Duck, this rotating part of the storm will be near you by 545. We also have Orth in the track of this very dangerous storm. 
And also remember, large damaging hail will be in order with this storm as well. We want you and your family to be safe. So here's what you need to know and keep in mind as a tornadic storm works its way towards your area. You'll want to seek shelter in an interior room, stay away from windows, and it needs to be a sturdy structure that's anchored to the ground. You do not want to seek shelter in place like a camper near the lakes here. That's not uncommon. A mobile home offers very little protection from tornadic style winds. And again, we have confirmation of a tornado on the ground near Highway 1 moving east-southeast at about 35 miles per hour heading towards Black Duck. If you're in rural parts of central Beltrami County, seek shelter. Basements are best. Put as many walls between you and this tornadic storm as possible. And Mike, we're going to continue to track this and watch for development out to the west as well throughout the evening. But again, tornado warning will update you regularly through the remainder of the program here. Yes, we have more news for you, but if you have a need to bust in, let us know. We'll Thanks, Sach.